Hello and welcome back and today I want to help you decide whether the QNAP 53D series is still worth your money in summer 2022. I'm going to do it in a little under 5 minutes. Right, so first and foremost, it's on sale loads. You'll probably come to this video because you've seen the 53D, 2, 4 or 6 bay somewhere on offer and gone, hmm, it's actually still worth the bunt. And I've got to say, the fact that it's on offer everywhere, it's still a very solid NAS regardless of which capacity you look at. And right now, the fact that it's on offer everywhere is going to make it very, very appealing for a number of you. Right now, I've got to say that it is still one of the best Price point versus hardware you are getting for your money that QNAP have ever released. And even though that little bad boy down there, the 464, has just been unveiled and it's going to become available more and more as the year wears on, has to be said the price point for that is nowhere near as appealing as the 53D series, which has had more than a couple of years in the market to really get out there in terms of availability and in terms of hardware you're getting for your price. Now, another reason why it's going to be very, very appealing for a number of you is the sheer upgradeability and the scalability of this system alongside it being a very good value for money the amount of money you set, spent, um, save and either hold back on day one or splurge out to upgrade the system. It has a number of different upgrade paths available to it. It has a PCIe upgrade slot that allows you to install 10GBE or even multiple 5 or 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports there. There's a Wi-Fi 6 card you can take advantage of. There's even USB to 5 gigabit Ethernet upgrades that you can get on this bad boy. There's M2 NVMe upgrade cards and combo cards that allow you to take advantage of both 10GBE and M2 NVMe inside this system again and even if you don't want to go down the upgrade path the default hardware inside from that intel seller on cpu inside up to eight gig of memory if you choose the system has inside two point uh, sorry outside 2.5 gigabit ethernet as well two ports by default at that price point which is pretty bloody banging and an hdmi output at 4k 60 frames per second and its own dedicated uh, HDMI parallel running app that allows you to install all of those different applications. Talking of software arrives with the latest version of QTS 5 inside with all of the firmware updates and exactly the same software that the newer generation device would have even if you buy the older one. And on top of that it has eight camera licenses inside. Eight camera licenses with QVR Pro and with advantages and improvements happening in there towards AI powered stuff with M2 NVMe adapters with the Google TPU. There's a lot that can be said for the price point you are getting for this uh, device and then you've got upgrades it doesn't have any of the upgrade restrictions that some brands have brought to the table you can choose to install third-party memory they're not going to get and kick up a fuss with you there are no limitations on the hardware drives or the ssds that you install inside and indeed the pcie upgrade list is enormous and unlike a lot of first party 10 gb upgrade cards that knock around for about 100 220 150 quid you can use some of the much more affordable low-end real tech powered ones that knock around for about 50 to 60 quid for a 10g upgrade on this system what i'm saying is it is a tremendous value product now and it was already quite a value product when it first arrived on the scene but it's not all good there's the reasons why maybe you shouldn't go for it even if it is on a good price offer first and foremost that pci slot that i mentioned there is pcie either gen 2 times 4 in the case of the 2 bay or gen 2 times 2 for the sake of the larger generation devices why is that important because it means you only get at best 2,000 megabytes per second throughput and at worst 1,000 megabytes per throughput, which again for 10 GBE is great. But when it comes to combo cards or NVMe uh, SSD caching, that M2, uh, the uh, PCI slot isn't going to be too great there. Also, the USBs on it are kind of weird. They've got older generation USBs, two USB Gen 2 times uh, Gen 1 slots, and three USB 2 ports, which is pretty meh. Not going to be great and useful. You can run a KVM setup with those USBs aren't exactly or inspiring. It would be remiss not to touch on that QNAP has had some real rumbles with ransomware in the last couple of years with Deadbolt trying to target them several times. And although the majority of that has now kind of been sorted out in the latest generations of QTS, there are still users yet to upgrade into QTS 5 running older generation QTS that are still feeling the burn somewhat. But this has been, should you buy... Um, the QNAP 53D series in summer 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, do let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.